a lesson stores the main content of the course. The content can be in various forms. It can be textual content, a video, or a quiz, or it can be a combination of all of these. To add these components, we have special markdown syntax that can be used. We will see how it can be added to a lesson. The doc type to create a lesson is called course lesson. To create a lesson, search for course lesson doc type from the awesome bar. You'll find an option called course lesson list. Click on it or click on the lesson link from the workspace. This is the list view of course lesson doc type. Link the chapter to which this lesson belongs. Give the lesson a title. If you want to give a preview of the lesson to the users before they enroll for the course, you can enable the include and preview option. The body is where the content of the lesson goes. Here you can also add the special markdown syntax for components like video, quizzes, etc. For the first lesson, I want a video along with some textual content. My video is hosted on YouTube. The video you want to add can either be a listed video or an unlisted video. Visit the video. You will see a share option link. Below, click on it. We only need the last portion of the URL. Back to the lesson. A help article below describes how you can add these components. This shows how to add a video from YouTube. Let's add the video this way. The video is now done. I want some text along with the video too. I'll add them here. Save the lesson. Now let's add the lesson to our chapter. Let's go back to the course chapter doc type and on our chapter. Here in the chapter table below, let's add the chapter that we just created. You can all add all lessons from this chapter. The order of the lesson here will be maintained on the website. Let's go back to the website and check it. As we can see that the chapters and lessons are visible. Click on the lesson name to check it out. The video and text content are both visible in the same order I added them. This is how a lesson can be created on Frappe LMS. In the next lesson, we will see how to create a quiz using the LMS. 